Now, though, the latest on Paula Dean. A federal judge has thrown out race discrimination claims made by a former restaurant manager in a lawsuit that has already cost the celebrity chef so much of her culinary empire. So is this a victory for Dean? ABC's Rebecca Jarvis is here now with the latest. Good morning, Rebecca. Good morning, Lara. And that is the question this morning. A dramatic turn of events, a legal victory for Paula Dean, but in the court of public opinion, the decision may have come two months too late. This morning, the disgraced queen of Southern cuisine escaped one boiling pot of legal hot water. Out of this world, y'all. Monday's ruling by a federal judge puts an end to the most damaging claim against the TV star, that she had discriminated against employees based on their race, an accusation that toppled her TV cooking kingdom and ruined her reputation. Paula Dean's worst mistake and her first mistake was letting a million dollar lawsuit trash a 20 million dollar a year empire. It doesn't matter if you're right and they're wrong. It's a business decision and you settle it and you make it go away. Dean's former restaurant manager, Lisa Jackson, a white woman with biracial nieces, sued Dean, claiming she was offended by Dean's alleged discrimination against black workers in the restaurant. When Dean refused to settle, Jackson's lawyers deposed her, asking, have you ever used the N-word yourself? Dean replied, yes, of course, but said only in the past. When her words leaked, her empire crumbled. Please forgive me for the mistakes that I've made. The Food Network dropped her show and a chain reaction of retailers who sold her cookbooks and cookware, Walmart, Target, Home Depot and more, cut ties. But the judge's ruling stated Jackson had not proven her claim, saying she was at best, quote, an accidental victim of the alleged racial discrimination. Still this morning, many wonder if it's all too little, too late. It falls apart in minutes. It can take years to rebuild. This is not a moment where the sponsors go, look, we wiped the slate clean, we're back. This morning, Dean's publicist tells ABC News the star is pleased with the ruling and that Dean is confident that those who truly know how she lives her life know that she believes in equal opportunity, kindness and fairness for everyone. The ruling lets stand Lisa Jackson's claims Dean's brother sexually harassed her, but the judge now says he could still rule on requests from Dean's lawyers to dismiss those claims as well. Jackson's attorney declined to comment, Lara. All right, Rebecca, Rebecca, thank you. And we want to bring in ABC's chief legal affairs anchor, Dan Abrams. And Dan, what do you make of the logic behind the judge's decision? Well, it makes sense. You're talking about a white plaintiff, right, suing on a racial discrimination mm -hmm. case. Now, you can win. Meaning if she was able to somehow demonstrate that she wasn't able to work with her African-American colleagues, for example, based on this racism, that could be a legitimate claim. But the court here saying uh, that, that there is no indication that that was the case in this particular lawsuit and throwing it out. But yeah. keeping the sexual harassment claim a lot. The, the judge saying at, at one point that um, Jackson is at best an accidental victim. So is this any kind of victory at all for Paula Deen? Well, look, it's a legal victory for Paula Deen. But what the judge is saying is even if everything in here is true, mm -hmm. it's still not a valid racial discrimination case. So that doesn't help Paula Deen. Meaning right. in terms of the court of public opinion, this court is not saying Oh, Paula Dean did nothing wrong. Right. None of this is true. Right. All the court is saying is, even if it is true, there's not a valid race case here. And it's not over yet. That's right, because you, the judge still uh, keeping open the possibility of the sexual harassment claim, because remember, that's different, because she's saying that happened to her, right. as opposed to how she felt about things happening to other people. Yeah, I believe the judge was saying something that, you know, we're, federal courts are not human resources departments. Right. So, all right, Dan, thank you so much. To okay. be continued yeah. on this one.